Good evening, everyone. State Senator Lisa Turaku in the hot seat tonight, not for her work at the Roundhouse, but for her job as a defense attorney. The Attorney General's office is now taking steps to get her to drop one of her clients who's accused of child solicitation. News 13's Jeannie Wynn spoke with a representative for the Attorney General's office on why they're making this move. Jeannie? Aaron, the motion filed by the Attorney General's Office of Hector Balderas says Senator Taraco admitted in open court that she told her client to delete his email account, which contained evidence for this case. In an affidavit filed by Sen Senator Taraco, she told her client Tyler Danzer to close his email account so he would not receive further unwanted communication with the police. Danzer started a conversation with investigators who were pretending to be a 12-year-old girl. His emails contained explicit and sexual messages, but the Attorney General's Office of Hector Balderas says she was tampering with evidence by telling her client to delete his account. Telling a client to destroy evidence creates a conflict of interest, and so that's why we're asking uh, the judge to remove Ms. Taraco from this case. The Attorney General's office says they were do they are doing everything in their power to protect New Mexico children from being raped and exploited, and they feel like removing Senator Taraco will be the start in helping them win this case. We reached out to Senator Taraco to get her comment on this case. She told us this is, quote, dirty, dirty politics. Aaron, back to you. All right, Jeannie, thank you very much indeed for that. That hearing for this motion is scheduled for tomorrow. That'll take place in district court.